now go to network and sharing settings and go to change advanced sharing settings now you can see that there are three groups private guest or public and all networks let's see each of them in detail now in private which is our current profile we have turned on the network discovery and file and printer sharing let's go to guest or public so in guest or public networks we have turned off the network discovery and file and printer sharing in all networks here we can see that we have turned on the public folder sharing this is turned on by default so your public folder is shared with everyone on the PC even the guest account can access it and we are using password protected sharing now if you turn off the password protected sharing then when you try to access your computer on the same network from another computer then it will not ask for a username and password it will by default log into the guest account which does not require username and password so only the folders that are shared with the guest account that is with the group everyone can only be accessed in that way so you can use public folder sharing in a good way so whatever you want to share you can put in the public folder we'll discuss about it right now talking about home groups there are two important points first point is that it is relatively easier to set up and to share your files and the second point is that it only works with windows pcs so if you want to share your files or share a printer with another computer with mac os or ubuntu or linux then you can't do that so let's create our home group then we will get this password we should write it down now we can see that we have home group joined by clicking on that we can go to home group settings now we can have some settings here we have some settings here we can change the password and type in our own password that we want now since I don't have any other PC right now so I can't show you how to join this home group but go to the home group tab in the file go to the home group tab in the file explorer on the other computer and you will see an option to join this home group and just when ask use this password to join if you want to leave the home group just press on leave the home group and you can see here that it is showing ready to create so you can create your home group again if you want thank you for watching if you want more videos like this please subscribe